Hey guys, so I was meant to make this video about three to four months ago and I was uploading my GTA videos. But during that time, the payphone hits were kind of broken. There were three payphone hits that were not working and they were the most confusing ones out of all the payphone hits. So if this video is kind of just out of nowhere, that's the main reason why. It's because I want to get this video out there and I'm, I'm kind of getting back into GTA. But if you're actually here for the payphone hits, wanting to know how to do them, or if you're stuck on one of them, I will have in the description timestamps to each one. I'll try to word them in a way that you actually know which ones they are because they have a very long description for each one and I don't want to fill the description with all all the payphone hits so i'm just gonna have them paraphrase so hopefully you know what they are now just a quick warning if you are here for them i'm not gonna be covering the co-op ones there's six different payphone hits that you can get that are co-op and i'm not covering those because i don't have anyone to play gta with so i'm sorry for the people that actually want to do the co-op ones or have a co-op one that you need to do and you don't know how to do it but those ones are pretty self-explanatory so i don't have anything else to say so i'm going to go ahead and move on to the first payphone hit so to start off the payphone hits i'm going to be covering the golf course ones first so if you see your target at the golf course that's how you know you actually got the golf course ones now there's three possibilities for this you can get either a remote bomb golf buggy or the golf club now, if you get the remote bomb it's going to either tell you to go to the third hole or the sixth hole now he spawns at whatever hole it wants you to take him out at and on the map it's going to show you like a little backpack and you have to go up to that to get the explosives you actually need to take him out with and once you get the explosives out of the backpack you're gonna go near the target don't go up to him or else he'll get spooked you're gonna follow the path of the hole that he's on and once you get to the actual hole itself you're gonna plant the bomb in there and then you're gonna walk away from it and then you're gonna go on your phone and you're gonna scroll down in your contacts until you find detonate and you're just gonna detonate the bomb when he's actually near the hole hope that was clear enough because this one is really confusing now, if you get the golf buggy you're just gonna head over to the golf course you're gonna go inside the mansion i forgot to mention that at first the game tells you to go inside the mansion that's at the golf course to collect the equipment in order to actually get the assassination bonus once you actually go in there, it's going to exit you in the back of the building. And you're going to go to your left, and you're going to find some golf buggies. This one is very self-explanatory. You're just going to get in the golf buggy, and you're going to go over to the target and just run them over and kill them with the golf buggy. That's all it is. And after that, you just leave the area. Now, finally, if you get a golf club, you're going to have to enter the mansion. Once you exit the mansion, it'll give you a golf club that you're holding. In order to get over to the target, you can either use a golf buggy, or you could use a vehicle you came over here with. But once you get over to the target, make sure to take out the bodyguards first, because the bodyguards can kill you pretty quickly if you don't pay attention. But after that, you're just going to chase the target down and just kill him with the golf club and then leave the area. The next three payphone hits, the target is able to spawn in three different locations. It's gonna be in Sandy Shores, right about near Los Angeles Customs, near the top of the city, and near the bottom right of the city. Now, if the one you get says take out the target with fire while they're in their car, then it's very self-explanatory. Once you get an actual mission, you're gonna have a timer at the bottom right of your screen when they actually leave the hotel. And once they leave the hotel, I recommend that you stay away from the car, be a good distance away, because if they realize you're near the car, they will run away and you'll fail the assassination bonus. Now, once they get in their car, you're going to have to throw a Molotov at their car. It'll pretty much almost blow up instantaneously. You won't really have to, like, follow them or anything. So once their car catches fire, blows up, you leave the area. Now, if you get one where it says use, like, a bomb on their car or put a bomb on their car, you're going to have to get in their car before they leave, go to Los Santos Customs, and then I recommend putting an ignition bomb on. Because once you get back and they get in their car, right when they turn it on, they'll blow up instantly and you just leave the area. I forget where it says take them out with a scoped rifle while they're in their car. You just have to wait for them to leave. And when they get in their car, you just shoot the engine of their car. I don't know if you could shoot other parts of the car, but I recommend just shooting the engine because that's always worked for me. Make sure you use a sniper for this. It has to be a scoped rifle. If it's anything but a sniper, it probably won't work. But after you kill them, just leave the area. So if you get a target that is in the city that's on the side of the road and not moving, that's how you know you got the taxi one. Now, the three possibilities for the taxi one is car crusher, drowning, and gas station explosion. Now, every time you get this payphone hit, you're always going to go to the exact same spot to get the taxi, which is near the casino. So, just start driving towards the casino, and eventually, it'll pop up on your map where you have to go. And the one I'm covering first is going to be the car crusher. Now, once you go get the taxi that it tells you to go get, you got to go over to the target and pick him up. It'll tell you to honk at him, so you just got to do that. And once you do that, it'll tell you to go over to the scrapyard. Once you get over there, you're going to have to navigate around the scrapyard a little bit, from what I remember. And once you get up to this little yellow circle you see now, it'll give you a little cutscene once you drive into it and after that you're pretty much done with that payphone hit and if you get the one where it says you have to drown him gotta get in the taxi go pick him up and kind of just gotta go anywhere you can find water so you can drown him easiest way i find is just to go to the pier and drive straight off the pier and right into the water but anyway works no matter what way you do as long as you go in water and drown him and lastly if you get gas station explosion you're gonna go get him in a taxi and you're gonna have to drive around until you find a gas station now i already know where pretty much all the gas stations are on the map but if you don't know i didn't really know what to tell you you're gonna have to drive around a little bit to 
find them or you can go to the convenience stores marked on the map I don't really know how to really help you guys if you don't know where they are But you really should know what they are at this point Um, but once you find one you just gotta drive in one of the gas pumps and once you blow up That's that pay one hit done and if you get a target that is moving on the map three possibilities for this can be a police car Truck cab or Vagos lowrider if you get the one with the police car You're gonna have to wait at the bottom right of your screen until 1444 Franklin is gonna text you where the location is of the police car It's not always the same spot so you're pretty much gonna have to wait until I text you But once you get over to the police car and steal it You're not gonna get the cops on you You're gonna have to go over to the target and basically chase him down You gotta turn on your sirens and once that bar at the bottom right of your screen fills up He's gonna turn either left or right doesn't matter and once he hits something he's gonna blow up i find it kind of funny when he dies because for some reason he just blows up doesn't matter what he hits dies instantly now if you get the truck cab this one's probably the most annoying franklin's gonna text you at 1444 you're gonna have to go get the truck cab wherever it spawns doesn't have a specific spawn location but once you get it you're gonna have to chase the target down you're gonna have to keep hitting him repeatedly until his car catches on fire this one can be very annoying because catching up to the target and actually getting him stuck in his place so he doesn't move can be kind of annoying you're gonna have to keep hitting him and hitting him against the wall until he eventually blows up now if you get they want the Vagos Lowrider. This one's probably the easiest one. At the bottom right of your map, eventually Franklin's gonna text you. You're gonna have to go get the Vagos Lowrider. There is some enemies you're gonna have to kill when you get there. But once you get in the Vagos Lowrider, you're gonna have to go over the target and you're gonna have to shoot him out of the car. If you're not good at aiming, then this one might be a little tough for you. But this one is relatively easy if you can actually aim your gun well. Once you kill him, that's pretty much the mission done. You just have to leave the area, from what I know. And for the easiest set of payphone hit missions, if you get four targets on the map, you'll have three different possibilities. You'll have kill him within seven minutes, headshots only or run them all over with a vehicle. If you get the one that says seven minutes, all you gotta do is just do this within seven minutes. So make sure that time at the bottom right doesn't go below eight minutes before you kill all the targets. You can use whatever you want. A jet, presser, doesn't matter. As long as you get it done within seven minutes. Now, if it is headshots only, self-explanatory. Just kill all the targets with the headshots. Really not that hard. Just make sure you do not miss the head because if you do, then you won't get the assassination bonus. You can shoot him in the body, but just make sure you kill him in the head. Now, if you get the one where it says run them over with the vehicle, I'm sure most of you, actually all of you should know how to do this just run them all over with the vehicle make sure you kill them with the vehicle you can just like have them under your car under your tire till they die doesn't matter how you do it as long as it's with the vehicle you are fine and moving on to the hardest payphone hits you can get there's two locations where the target can spawn at it's here at the vinewood racetrack or here towards the bottom right of the city now i'm gonna go over the vinewood racetrack first because they are kind of laid out a little differently now the three possibilities you can get is bulldozer cargo container and gas station explode now, i'm going over to bulldozer first now if you get vinewood racetrack best way to approach the bulldozer one is if you go here on the map towards the top left of the area that target is in and you wait for him to stop in front of the bulldozer he will stop once he stops in front of it you shoot the driver of the bulldozer and then he will get ran over by it and then that's that now if you get the one where it's the cargo container this one is a little tricky but on the map you're gonna see the backpack i'd recommend go to that climb up the crane and we get to the very top of it where the backpack is you can see that there was a cargo container held up by a vehicle that i i don't know what it's called on the side of it like right above the container it's really hard to see but there's a little button with a red arrow pointing right at it it might be hard to see in the clip you're seeing now because it's nighttime once the target walks under it you just gotta shoot the little button and the container will fall on him it's a little hard to line up but it really shouldn't be too hard once you realize the target is under it if you get gas tank explosion this one is a little easier you're just gonna have to wait for the target to walk up to the gas tank that you see now make sure you're on the crane too because it's a lot easier to go on the crane and you're gonna shoot the gas tank once he gets near it and then that's that you're just gonna leave the area now if you get the spawn location near the bottom right of the city all you have to do is go on this location here you can get a vantage point of everything and you don't have to go all the way up to where the backpack is on the high vantage point Then once you're here the bulldozer will be right here So once the target stops in front of it You're gonna shoot the driver and then he'll die from the bulldozer and just leave the area If you get cargo container this one's a bit easier to actually see once he walks under it You basically just shoot it falls on him. He dies now if you get the gas tank That's all the way to the right of the area He's in so once he walks near it you shoot it and he dies and that's that that's gonna be it for the payphone hits for this video And as I said, I can't do the co-op one So I'm sorry about that But if you got confused at any point in this video and need extra help, let me know in the comments I was kind of quick about going through these since i kind of assumed that you can use common sense in some of these so i just kind of did a brief overview of them but yeah, that's gonna be it if you guys enjoyed uh, don't forget to leave a like subscribe and all that and i'll see you guys next video peace out